So specifically when it comes to breath, we breathe just over half a billion times in our life. And it's a time for us now to sort of really stand up and demand that those things that guide health professionals, uh, the way they give advice, it has to change. Um, we can't say any longer that air pollution is trivial. It might be relatively trivial for someone who's sitting in the Yorkshire Dales and breathing relatively clean air, but for the vast majority of children, living in urban conurbations is a huge, huge problem. There's an urgent need for healthcare professionals to be educated at the undergraduate, postgraduate and ongoing professional development level around air pollution and how to speak to patients. I'm here today to contribute this idea that art can be a practical uh, problem solving tool. And there is an epidemic of misinformation. There is a huge risk to expertise being ignored and not internalized and actually vital to advise artists as much as it is to institutions in that balance of research. And it's when these two worlds come together effectively, what you have is an expertise communicated, misinformation neutralized and ideas internalized. I've moved from being a pure academic to becoming an advocate, launching Doctors Against Diesel. My kids said, you know, we're not interested in you getting arrested. You've screwed up the world already. Um, uh, we want you to fund our university and things like that. So, you know, don't get arrested. You know, that'll just be you doing it for yourself. That won't be you doing it for us. But I decided to use what I know and what I have um, uh, within the organisation I have. I, I worked out what I could do best. So I think it's just looking at who you are, what, what you can do. You know, we do that every day as doctors. 